With the release of Blender 3.5, creating hair in Blender was never this easy before. As a stylized artist, I am always looking for ways to create intricate hair designs quickly and easily. And this new feature delivers on the front. With just a few clicks, I was able to regenerate a wide range of hairstyles really quickly, which would have taken me hours to create manually. The update introduces some new sets of nodes you can use on an existing hair preset. I'm also providing this model on my ArtStation store if you want to see the hair settings by yourselves. By buying this model, you will also help me improve the content and quality of the channel. Now, let's jump right to it. So in order to make this method work, if you block out the basic shape of the hairs, it will very really benefit you. This method worked for me because of this very reason. For example, I'm a stylist artist and this basic shape of the hairs, what I wanted was to maintain the integrity of these curves and what I wish that the realistic hairs follow this kind of pattern. And uh, this is why the Blender 3.5 new features called fur is a game changer for me. For example, if you have block out the basic shape of the hair all you have to do is select those meshes and press shift a go to curve and there would be an option called fur it is the same as empty hair which was released in blender 3.3 if you have used it and if i click on this fur it will add the hairs onto the mesh and if you click on this wrench icon, the modifier stack, while the curves are selected, you would see a bunch of modifiers. These are nodes which have its own parameters and this is why it is very fast. For example, this set hair curve profile will aid you the thickness of the hairs. Here is the radius of the hair which is 0.001 meter which is 1 centimeter. And if I go down to the interplate hair curves, I can choose the density of the hairs. This is very important. Uh, this is already have 3000 something hairs. If I click on it and add 8000 for example, it will add the 8000 hairs around your mesh. And if you select the curves and go to the scalp mode, you would see that these are splines and the heads are attached according to it. If for example, if I use the comb and just comb these splines, the heads will follow. And this is all procedural. Okay, this, oh, this is all our nodes. This is why it is so powerful and undistractive. If I go back to the object mode and just open the asset browser where the curves are selected, Go to the asset browser really quick and you would see this bunch of assets now added into the new version of blender and these are the same nodes as provided by the fur itself some of it are added but some of it are not because some of the nodes like clump hair curve like the animals have it or braid curve like the girl females have it you can choose it and you just have to click and drag over onto the curves and it will add the desired result of the selected node accordingly and you can you could also go to the materials and give it a quick hair material if you want i've already made this hair material with the brown color but uh, you could also make yours and if i want to remove it i will go back to the wrench modifier and just remove the clump hair which we have headed the bread hair curves which we headed click on this cross and it will be removed and this is why i said that this is a game changer for me and uh, for the beard i didn't have to put a lot of effort because the beard have this frizz kind of the uh, uneven hairstyle and if i go to the modifier tag and see there is a hair asset already added which is called freeze hair here it is the freeze hair and if i just disable it all the hairs will be straight as you can see all the hairs are straight and even and what this freeze hair does it just randomly create a noise around the curves of the hairs and uh, all these curves will be randomly in the direction and rotation and i can always change the factor factor means how much amount of freeze i want in my head if i set it to low or even zero the zero percent will be added to the already curve set if i go back to one percent i can just happen to have all the 100 percent of the freeze head selected and i can just change the seed as well seeds are the uh, randomness of the uh, nodes and I can also choose to preserve length. It will preserve the length of the curves. 
if we change these parameters all right and for the mustache i sort of did the same thing i just have this basic hair blocked out and click this shift a and just add the furs now sometimes the furs and the desired shapes need to be tweaked a little bit in order to get it to work for example i have added this mustache in the this mesh and it is like blowing a lot and what worked for me is that if i go back to give it a quick hair material and go back to the profile see uh, the radius of it now i can do is uh, either reduce the length of this hairs or i can just make the mesh smaller like this mustache one mesh if i just go to edit mode just the edit mode and just make it slow as you can see the curves are following the mesh so this is how you can have more control around your mesh and uh, if you don't want to mesh the hairs just tweak the original mesh and the curves will follow it and in the original concept what i did was i just used the comb and just comb the hairs maybe increase the density a little bit and this is how i made the directional heads of the mustache i did the same with this other mustache and the same with this eyebrows as well and it was like 30 40 minutes tops and the heads were already on to my mesh i think this is a game changer at least the start of the game changer as you can see the industry standard has always been maya x gen but this geometry creating hairs with geometry has gone to the another level now because you can have really huge control around your curves for example this intropellate hair the hair will follow the curves and you can just create by clicking this add and you can have more splines around your mesh and you can grow reduce you snake which on it pinch it even and this you can also tweak these parameters to have the same effect really quickly as possible so i think this would be huge if it gets into more development in future but at the moment it is gotten really strong after this assets have been released so guys this is it i hope you have like a short brief tutorial workflow type of thing of this character which i have created and maybe i will be releasing adding creating more characters with the same hair system in future i hope you like this video if you did please leave a like comment and uh, i will see you on the next one please take care goodbye